Okay, quick video. Uh, I had a request for Japanese style, uh, or actually island style, local local Hawaii style um, uh, spicy tuna sauce. Okay, um, the basic ingredients is from what I seen made by fast food sushi restaurants is just a mixture of mayonnaise and sriracha sauce. Okay. Now, uh, this request is more, they wanted more of the Japanese style mayonnaise. Now, Japanese style mayonnaise, the major difference between our mayonnaise, well, uh, Hawaii mayonnaise or U.S. mayonnaise is uh, uh, they add, they add, uh, they add mustard and sometimes there's a, a, a a request for a slight amount of uh, fish flavoring, uh, which is can be in the form of a broth made from bonito flakes. Uh, that's a smoked bonito that's been dried, and they use the flakes to make to make the uh, a little bit of uh, fish taste to the uh, to the water. But as you know, mayonnaise just contains eggs, vinegar, and oil. Uh, so the vinegar they use is the rice wine sweet vinegar and then the uh, uh, organic eggs and and stuff like that so there's a lot of videos online how to make specifically how to make japanese uh, mayonnaise but i'm gonna do more the local style okay so well a hawaii style okay and again this is the fast food restaurant because they don't got time to or they can't afford to buy the authentic Japanese mail because you got to remember now that's imported, right? So uh, I'm going to make enough for a little cup here. And so this is from what I seen on spicy tuna at fast food uh, sushi places. And all it is is mayo with a little bit of sriracha sauce. Now, this is... Uh, the sriracha, the basics for this is, if you look at the ingredients, it's uh, uh, chili, sugar, salt, garlic, and a little bit of uh, uh, preservatives. Okay, so now how much do you add? Well, that all depends on your your uh, 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 spiciness tolerance, okay? So I just, you just saw that little, di di little touch, little dab. And as you can see, the mayonnaise has turned a slight pink, almost like a, a Thousand Island color, okay? Thousand Island dressing color, okay? So, let's taste this. Now, this is about the level of, of, of if you want mild, okay? So... If you like it spicier, all you do is you be careful, add just a little at a time until you get up to the spiciness you like. Okay, so that's all it is. Okay. Of course, it has to be a certain spicy spice level in order to be considered spicy. If everybody says it's bland, then to them it's not spicy. Okay, so again... Okay, I think I can go a little bit. For me, it's starting to heat my tongue. So a little bit more. So again, looking like a Thousand Island dressing. Okay. Now, you may see other ingredients in here, but those are added when you're making whatever dish you're going to make. For example, you may see sesame, roasted sesame seeds. You may see sesame seed oil. Uh... You may see uh, oyster sauce or soyu or something like that. But you do that. You, this is your basic sauce. Okay. From here, you can start adding other things for for other types of dishes. Because this is the basic sauce. Okay. Okay. That's hmm, a little bit more. As you can tell, I like mine a little bit more. I, I, I don't like it so spicy that 
it burns then you can't taste anything but as you can see what it looks like we're about half a teaspoon total and you can see the color slightly pink like again looking like thousand iron ah, I think that's good enough okay now here's the thing to make it more Japanesey their main thing is they add a little sugar I got a little packet of sugar here and their mayonnaise tends to be on a sweeter side so in this amount I mean it's up to you how much you put but I'm just gonna put a little and they also they like a little bit of mustard oh which is not even open now uh, doesn't matter uh, they they have a tendency just to use a straight up American products they, they don't like not Dijon or whatever I mean you can go to fancier restaurants and they might have Dijon mustard but when it comes to basic Japanese food whoa they have a tendency just to use a straight up American because you gotta remember now they were introduced to all of this you know uh, after after the occupation okay so that's like a quarter maybe a third of a teaspoon and it does change if you're just mixing it with the mayonnaise it does change the color of the mayonnaise okay so now a little sugar and a little dollop of mustard to make it more so-called Japanesey oh yeah that adds a whole another flavor I, you can I can taste the mustard coming through um, it takes to bite off of the the, the chili um, a little too sour so I'm gonna add more to offset the vinegary taste I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar in fact I'm gonna go with a whole teaspoon so this was a, a normal packet but which is a teaspoon of sugar in this particular we're probably looking at two and a half to three ounces of uh, product here okay so that little one teaspoon of sugar the dollop of mustard meal and the sriracha sauce okay so it's starting to look more yellowy it definitely took away that uh, you can tell it's not it doesn't have that thousand island color thousand island dressing color you can tell it's slightly yellow different different color oh wow that's a whole actually it took a lot of heat away from it so let's kick it up so I'm thinking we're at a full teaspoon of uh, sorachi sauce yeah bring back the that pink color now again if you want to know the heat of something when you're using sriracha sauce the redder the redder closer to this color the more heat the lighter the redness less heat so it's real simple it's easy to control okay oh I oh I can go quite a bit of interesting that the mustard and the sugar took away a lot of heat you know it cancels out the heat so I I'm looking at a teaspoon and a half of sriracha sauce so quite a bit that's why well, actually I can go more so so we're up to two teaspoons level teaspoons of sriracha sauce so for some reason the sugar and the mustard cut cancels out the the, the intense flavor of the, the chili okay that's about right it's I would consider this mild I mean you probably could go another teaspoon of sriracha if you really want to kick it up I would say try this mix it up for example with your raw fish or whatever your raw fish cubes if you're making spicy tuna and taste it if it's not spicy enough you can always add more sriracha sauce to it 
okay, I, I'm now I'm feeling the heat in the back of my throat. So the heat is there. It just doesn't come at you at one time. So I would consider this mild. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, you can keep this in an ice box. It's all made with uh, already the the mustard, the mayo, and the sriracha is all pre already preserved. So so you're not looking at anything that will. There's no the eggs are sitting in vinegar, so it's not as if this will spoil. So this will, this sauce will hold for for a while, you know, if you if you can last that long. <laughs> Because as soon as you have some raw fish or whatever it is you're making, California roll, I'm sure you'll just use all this sauce up real quickly. Okay, so this is what we have. If the cover will go on. Okay. And and I would date this to show when you made it. Okay. So here you are. The, uh, kind of like an island version of uh, a Japanese style sriracha, uh, spicy tuna sauce.